Hi, it's Darnell with Wave Oven Recipes. Today, I'm going to be grilling and smoking a whole chicken in the Ninja Wood Fire Outdoor Grill. It's a small chicken, about three pounds, but we'll see how it does. It's going to be using the grill function, which brings the heat from the bottom along with the smoke going. Last time I did a whole chicken spatchcock style in the Ninja Wood Fire Outdoor Grill, I used the smoker function, which brings the heat from the top. So this time we're going to come from the bottom, and we'll see how it does with that. And let's get cooking right now. Okay, so I've spatchcocked the chicken, seasoned it up with some Old Bay and some ranch seasoning. And basically going to bring it out once it's ready to go onto the grill. But going to go ahead and get things warmed up. I've got some robust blend pellets in the pellet hopper already. So just going to get things, well, get it turned on. Got it on the grill function. Going to take it down to medium. Going to up the time. To probably gonna need an hour, maybe less, but I'll set it to an hour to start out. So get it up to one hour and get that wood fire going. Go ahead and hit start and it's starting to ignite things. I'm gonna run and grab the chicken and throw it on in a sec. I'll be right back. Alright, here's the chicken and uh, got an eye grill 2 meat probe in it. So, going to stick that on in here and get eye grill 2 started so that I can track the temperature of the chicken as it cooks. So, we got that on. So, let's see, can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and stick this on here. Set it there like so, and just close it on up. And I'll just let it go ahead and, and do its thing. It'll, you know, get things ignited and going and all. And I'll bring you on back in a while. We'll see how things are when it's all done. All right, so for better or worse, I put the food in before the uh, before the cooker had warmed up and all. Just put it on at the start, and with the smoker function, with the you know the air coming down from the top, it doesn't need a preheat. So I just threw it on there with the grill and let it go ahead and ignite and warm up. And I'm sure that slowed down the preheat some, but it's all preheated now, counting down. 15 minutes have passed basically, so we'll just have to. You know, consider that 15 minutes pass from whatever counts down here as it progresses. But it's, breast meat's at 77 degrees so far. We'll just go ahead and let the cook continue until things are done. And I'll bring you back when we're at a nice 165. Everybody who's used to this channel knows I cook all the way. I'm not one for the uh, carryover thing. And you can check out the initial review where I probably did tell you that it has a preheat on the grill function. But that's here on the channel. You can check that out. Over 800 other videos here on the channel. But I'll bring you on back. All right, so I let it go for 30 minutes and kind of just went in the house for a while, came back. It was a 198, so I really quick hit the stop button. I've already unhooked the eye grill to the main piece, but it's still got the probe in there, but pretty, uh, pretty hot. <laughs> It's a little overcooked because uh, I guess 30 minutes more was too long for a small chicken, but this is how it looks. Okay, so for this small chicken, 45 minutes was a bit too long. So if you got a small one, start checking after 30. If you got a big one, maybe you should start checking after 30 on grill too. But uh, anyway, we're going to see what we've got here. I'm going to go ahead and try and 
cut a piece of this little breast meat off. It looks like it's I'm seeing a lot of juice there as I cut. I mean, chicken, yeah, it's small, but there is some, uh, it looks like some moist meat there. I'm going to go ahead and just plate that here. And uh, let me see if I can get a little bit of the charred skin here. Get that here. We'll go ahead and do a quick taste test. But you can see inside, I mean, it's super done. So let's do a taste test. So thank God for the chicken. Let's go ahead and taste. I want to taste the piece with the meat and the skin. I'll have the piece with the, just the meat too. You can see, I mean, there's like juice coming off this piece of meat and on my plate, so it's juicy. Okay, came out moist, tender, and juicy. You would never know it was 198. I mean, it seemed like it was, you know, like a perfect 165, perfect done temperature. It's very juicy inside. So it turned out well. Maybe, you know, even though it went to 195, it cooked really fast, so still was able to hold in a lot of juices. It didn't burn up all the juice in there. So that's good. So basically, you see how things turned out doing it this way versus the other way. And I'm sure if you don't cook it to 195, it'll, you know, probably not be as overdone. But on the top, I mean, you know, like the top looks, you know, kind of blackened. But still, turned out good. I mean, like I said, you would never know it was over, over, you know, like 165 from just tasting the meat. So I like how it turned out. And so basically you can spatchcock the chicken, cook it up in there either way. Either you heat from the top with the smoker function. Probably going to be a little more black and overdone on the top. Or you can do the grill from the bottom and do it that way. I think between the two, yeah, you probably should do the grill function. I'd, I'd recommend the grill function. Definitely came out a lot more juicier using the grill function than using the smoker function with the air from the top. I pulled that one right at 165, I believe. You can check that old video out. And that one was a bit drier than this one. This one's super moist and over 30 degrees overdone. So that's pretty good. So, in the video description, lots of ways to help the channel. Nothing in this video was sponsored, nothing was given. And uh, I also wanted to mention, I'm sure somebody's wondering, well, how do you get a three pound chicken? That's from a farmer. It's pasture raised chicken, and it's three pounds because it doesn't have some of the things that make big chickens big, and I'm happy with that. So, in the video description, there are lots of ways to help the channel, such as my cookbook, merch membership, donations. Also, link to the Amazon shop. You can always check out my blog, superwaveovenrecipes.com. That's superwaveovenrecipes.com. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Share the video with a friend. Leave your comments. Subscribe. Hit that notification icon and good eating.